Well, we're now joined by England Rugby League head coach Sean Wayne. Sean, this has been a long, long time coming. I think three years um, when it comes to Saturday against Samoa at St James's Park. It has, making it's been tough, no question. Um, you know, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm not one for dwelling on things. It's been a tough few years, no question. But what, what I'm in control of is making sure the players are prepared this, this Saturday and they will be. You had your recent uh, friendly game, warm-up fixture against uh, Fiji. Yeah. Has that helped you with any selection issues? Uh, are, you, are you settled in on the 17 that are going to take to the field against Samoa on Saturday? Yeah, we've got a couple of knocks from the Fiji game. Nothing serious. Um, the Fiji game was really worthwhile doing. I saw some really good sides of certain players. Uh, but my, my, my 17, I'm pretty happy with uh, going into Saturday's game. There's just a couple of players I need to check on. But uh, overall, we'll be very competitive and having a dig on Saturday. When you look at the England squad, Sean, it's no secret that it has been hampered with key players missing. You, you look at your Johnny Lomax, your Lewis Dodd potentially, Alex Wormsley. How much of has that you know thrown you and your preparations going into this World Cup? There's no question. Mate. Uh, Matt Percival was the one what, what really got me because uh, you know as a player I, I rate uh, like the other three. Um, Harry Newman, another one. Um, but there's nothing we can do about that now. They're, they're out, and I've got me 24, and I'm more than happy with the, the standard I've got in the 24. They're all very competitive. They all understand how important it is to play for England. Um, you know, we're, we're a very, very proud nation. You know, we, we don't have all the the, the, the songs that other countries have, but inside the meetings we have, we're a very, very proud Englishman, and uh, and you'll see that this uh, you'll see that this Saturday. Saturday, it's obviously England against Samoa at St James's Park. Fingers crossed, it's a sellout. How important is it for England and the World Cup competition on home soil, Sean? that you get off to a winning start? It's really, really important, um, and we have to be very good to beat that Samoan team. There are six players in the NRL Grand Final. Um, we had none. So we're up, we're up against it. We need to be very good to win the game, but I'm very happy with the team we've got. Um, I know some are huge, um, but we've got things in our game which can trouble them. Um, you know, So hopefully we'll see that on Saturday. When you look at... Samoa and you, met, you mentioned the players that were in the, the NRL this is going to be a very different Samoa to Samoas that we've seen at previous World Cups 100% Mick um, this team is very very competitive and you, you see many players have left Australia you know to go with people like Tonga and Samoa so it's going to it's going to make the competition this uh, tournament very very competitive the most competitive World Cup I've seen for a long long time and, uh, and that's what makes this game on Saturday all the more difficult how do you assess England's group? Because there's obviously France in there and, and Greece. Yeah, the French are going to be strong. Um, you know, I, I know Lauren and Trent Robinson, are, they're going to have a, a real good dig at us at, at, at Bolton. Uh, I don't know the, the Greece players, but we'll give them the, the, the respect they deserve. And, uh, and we'll be going into a lot of detail on making sure that, you know, we, they see the best of us when we play them at Sheffield. In terms of your preparation, Sean, as head coach of England, the fact that there hasn't been loads of international rugby league in your period as head coach does that mean you're going into this World Cup a little bit blind not knowing some of the other teams uh, with, with, with them not featuring regularly in international competition no no I, I watch I watch a lot of NRL I watch every NRL game every week I watch every Super League you know I watch a lot of Queensland Cup I watch a lot of rugby I'm a proper student of the game like yourself um, you know so I, I do know a lot of these players anyway and uh, and that's what makes it a really competitive World Cup, and uh, and that's what makes the game on Saturday a real real tough one because um, you know I, I look at the analysis thing we've got with uh, with England, I f my feedback with the England players, but as well as that, I'm always showing players what's going to play for Tonga and Samoa to make sure that we're all ready when the tournament kicks off. The average age of the squad, I think someone worked it out, it was 28 years and and two months. There's a lot of experience in that England squad at this World Cup. Is that something you've deliberately focused on? I've tried to make, um, you know, and, and I hope I've got the blend right. Um, with, with, we've got a few young kids and you people like Morgan Knowles and, you know, and, and Victor Adler even, you know, not very old. So, um, you know, I'll get, I'll get the blend right. But I do, I do like a few older players in there to make sure that when things are, are going a bit dodgy that they can keep it nice and calm and consistent in how we play. And, uh, but we'll see this Saturday. It's going to be a massive game. And a full house, I'm excited. 
in terms of those players that are probably playing in their last World Cup, like Ryan Hall, Sam Tompkins, Mickey McClure, and potentially Mike McMeekin, maybe even George Williams, um, does that give you uh, any added sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for, advantage knowing that? There's that togetherness there, you know, these are players that have been there, done that, worn the T-shirt, and this is potentially one last hurrah for them. In, in the time I've had these players together, the spirit they have is, is, is immense, and um, without going into detail and mentioning that, all the players understand the age of Sam and the age of other players, Mike McMeek, and how many more World Cups are going to have, and it won't be many, if any. And, uh, and that's just added motivation, what we need, and um, it's like an unsaid um, story of what we're going to take into the World Cup. And uh, but the spirit within the players has been immense so the players know how important it is that we get off to a good start and just finally Sean can England win it what would it mean if England lift the trophy at Old Trafford in November what would it do for the sport of rugby league in this country it would do everything for the sport in this country and I'm very proud of rugby league man like yourself um, I care passionate about the game and for us to do well in this competition would uh, do it the world of good no question